Hi guys, it is a gray gloomy day here in the end times in the Catskill Mountains here on this soon to be rainy Saturday morning, June 29th, 2019. We are one day away from being halfway through June of 2019, so as some of you may or may not know, uh, Sancho Panza spent from midnight to 3 a.m. last night, well, including the ride to Kingston and back, in the emergency room. Yes, the emergency room for getting this splinter up his nose, chasing a chipmunk, which I managed to keep at $150. They wanted to take x-rays for another hundred and eighty dollars uh, but I kept it to 150 so driving back last night I'm, I'm thinking about this you know hundred and fifty dollars well, you know in this big scheme of things what the hell is hundred and fifty dollars well I'll tell you what hundred and fifty dollars was added to that goddamn tree that blew over in my yard uh, a couple of weeks ago I am up to 300 on that tree and now 150 so between the fucking $300 tree and the $150 chipmunk, uh, that's $450, which happens to be my entire rental income that I, that I earned in, uh, in June. 100% of my only guaranteed income up in smoke, over a tree blowing down in a high wind and uh, my dog getting a splinter up his nose chasing a chipmunk. And 100% uh, and, and of, of the rest of my income is, is pretty much dependent on, uh, on tribes members uh, appreciating what I do for a living here on YouTube and throwing me an occasional bone. Of course, I am making less in donations now than I was a year ago. Uh, so, <clears throat> it's setting up for, uh, for 2019 that one more year I will be under the poverty line. Uh, so, at least I will remain on the uh, Internal Revenue Service's non-collectible list for another year. And, and, and the, now, now I, I do want to put a caveat, I, I have found a job offer. I have been offered a job in the Catskill Mountains. You might remember that house I worked at a few days last year where I got the flat tire running over the nail or whatever. So anyway, that woman, is back saying, well, Hambone, uh, you can come here and, and work all you want to for $15 an hour. I don't know if you remember what's going on with that house is this black mold infestation. I mean, the whole ceiling is covered with this goddamn black mold. And, and this and, and this is the upstairs. This is a two-story house. There's no electricity. There's no ventilation. No fans. No no heaters. Nothing. She has replaced the roof. So now she needs to find somebody willing to go in there and rip out. I, I'm not talking a, a, a patch of black mold this big. So with no ventilation whatsoever, she is offering me 50 dollars an hour to rip down a black moldy ceiling uh, so if you want to find out what that means you can google uh, black mold exposure so I am weighing that option right now so to pay his vet bill that would be 10 hours of, of ripping down and breathing black mold spores for 10 hours to pay for that vet bill last night. So I do have an option. But of course, guys, you know, as you know, the reason I'm not freaking out right now about my financial situation is that I am going to be selling my house 
in uh, Garfield, Texas next spring, assuming it does not uh, blow away or float away in the hurricane season. And uh, so I am one more time going to come in to, for the last time in my life, come into this pile of money. And I still have, I have, I think, about 1,200 ounces of physical silver buried out in a sewer pipe in a swamp in East Texas, assuming I can even find that. So I do have my buried treasure, and if I did not, I, I, I would be in an absolute panic right now. You know, thinking about my financial future. You know, I'm getting ready to hit 60 years old in a couple of weeks. Now, as I've mentioned before, back when I was a clueless moron uh, real estate investor and real estate agent uh, 10 years ago, my goal 10 years ago before I met uh, Terrence McKenna and got sucked down this rabbit hole, my plan was to get 40 houses. I wanted to get, I was a single man, no children, a, a single man. Uh, my goal was to buy 40 houses, 40 rental houses. Okay. Uh, I was up to five houses in 2010, I'm sorry, 2008, I owned five houses. Uh, and so I wanted to keep getting to houses till I eventually owned 40. And I was hoping this was going to happen by age 65, age 70 at the latest. It, you know, if I could, just, you know, just if I could put this together, if I can manifest this. So this was my plan. And so when I hit 40 houses, <clears throat> so I would be having. 40 rental incomes coming in uh, then what I was going to do when I hit 40 then I was going to sell I was going to flip one of them every six months are you following me so it would take 20 years to get back down to zero so I would have the rental income coming in from 40 then 39 then 38 and take the flip money and that would take me to somewhere between age 85 and 90 you know somewhere roughly to the year 2050 <clears throat> when I assumed I would be dead by 2050 <coughs> and so this was my plan this was this was literally my plan uh, and then I met Terrence McKenna and Michael Rupert and a few other folks and my plans changed. Uh, so here I am, 10 years later, clinging on to one little shack in a floodplain uh, in Texas uh, with no insurance on it. Not just no flood insurance. I don't have one penny of insurance on that place. Still got to pay. You can't get away from taxes. So I am making $450 a month. Uh, that is my income. What is that? 48 hundred fifty five $5,400 a year is my income uh, is my rental income 10 years ago after factoring in uh, mortgages and taxes and insurance 10 years ago I probably made in the year 2008 I probably made about 25,000 from my rental income uh, 10, 10 or 11 years ago. So anyway, I am sitting here, you know, living with, uh, with feet in two worlds that I am just going on about my business waiting for global industrial civilization uh, and, the, and the planet to collapse. But until the day at least that global industrial civilization collapses, which could be tomorrow or it could be 2050 when I'm 90 years old, uh, somewhere between tomorrow and 2050, uh, global industrial civilization is going to collapse 
and it's really going to suck. Uh, I hope I'm dead the day before it gets here, but as long as I'm not dead, and as long as global industrial civilization is not dead, I'm getting ready to hit 60 years old and figuring out what I want to do when I grow up. Uh, so, the universe has put in my path this morning <clears throat> from Fisher Investments. My personal retirement calculator. All right. In 60 seconds, in 60 seconds, I will send you the link to this. In 60 seconds, calculate your odds of running out of money in retirement. Yes, legendary money manager Ken Fisher is offering you a unique opportunity to access their interactive retirement calculator. Take hold of your financial future today. Let's get started. Okay, this is a depressed collapsitarian taking hold of his financial future, and we're going to get started. It's supposed to take 60 seconds. Let's get started. But yeah, by, by giving these, the, these fuckers my email address, we will never sell your information. There you go. So uh, I just sold my information to how many people? Okay. So uh, now, of course, you have to uh, to sign in, you know, sign up for an account and all of this shit. Uh, okay, we're gonna sign, you know, 60 seconds, my ass. I love this word, submit. Submit. So I have submitted. I have submitted to Fisher Investments. So probably, oh, they, uh, I have not told them. They want to know what, uh, what city I live in. Now, obviously, uh, this is going, what city you live in. I, you know, I'm, I'm gonna put what I should be doing here, guys, is putting Ithaca, New York, uh, in here instead of Austin, Texas. Okay, they want to know a little bit about me. Okay, so I am 59, and I want to retire at age 60. There you go. How much have you saved for retirement? How much have I saved for retirement? Well, okay, what is silver? I think silver is worth today. All right. Is silver worth about 15 bucks today? So if I've got, what is 15, what is, Fifteen dollars times twelve hundred. Uh, this shouldn't be that hard, Hambone. Uh, so fifteen. Th let's call it eighteen thousand dollars. All right, we have eighteen thousand dollars buried in a sewer pipe. Uh, how much do you contribute annually toward your retirement? <clears throat> I think zero dollars is the... Uh... How much cash flow do you anticipate needing each year in retirement? And they give you the default is $150,000 per year. 
is, uh, which they think is, you know, just, just an average call that uh, $150,000 a year cash flow. You understand cash flow, mean pretty much meaning money you can just grab hold of anytime you need it. So, how much cash flow do you anticipate needing each year, basically between here and 2050? Cash flow. All right. Well, I'm gonna hopefully I'm gonna own these two. But I'm probably. Let's call it. Uh, we're just gonna we're gonna take off a zero, and we're gonna call it fifteen thousand. We're gonna reduce their figure. Do you manage your own portfolio? Yes, I do manage my own portfolio. I did go out there with a shovel and bury my silver dollars out in a sewer pipe in a swamp, and assuming. I can find it if I can remember where the hell it is. I will manage my portfolio when uh, I leave Texas and I go dig up my buried treasure. The answer to the question is yes. So now calculate. And I, I got to ding that uh, the minimum cash flow requirement is 20000 there is no such thing as a, as a $15,000 cash flow. Uh, you cannot survive on less than a $20,000 annual cash flow. Here are your custom results. There you go. Uh, I want you to see my my custom results. This is Hambone's future uh, prospects. This is according to Fisher. This is the probability of my portfolio value. Excuse me, little dog. I need to make sure the the people can see this. God damn it! There is, uh, there is the probability of Hambone Little Tails depressed collapsitarian uh, portfolio value. You can see where I am heading between now and 2050, but of course that is the portfolio value of global industrial civilization and the planet. So, uh, let's see, do they give me they, any verbal results on this, or is it just the graph? Okay, I can't tell. Let's see if they uh, explain this to me. They're, the wheel is turning, so they're analyzing this, this uh, over-the-cliff uh, portfolio value, the uh, little wheels are spinning, analyzing this graph. I love the sound. That sounds like my graph. Uh, this is supposed to take 60 seconds. Uh, So they are recommending what I do uh, in retirement. They are recommending I put 50% of my uh, my my money. I guess they're, they're I guess what they're saying. What are they saying? 50% into stocks, 25% into bonds and keep 25% cash on hand based on my over the cliff. Uh, they're tell I guess what they're telling me is to sell my physical silver, uh, put half of it in 
into the stock market, 25% of it into the bond market. I have never known what the fuck the bond market is. I, I have no clue what a bond market is. Uh, and then I'm supposed to keep 25% cash on hand so I can grab it and run for the hills. And that is my financial future and I will send you the link so you can get your own financial future as things go kaput in the end times. Oh God, what will July bring? How will I spend 100% of my income in uh, July? But, uh, <coughs> I guess I'm off to go up in an unventilated room and, uh, and start ripping down black mold covered ceilings for $15 an hour putting uh, my five years of college and three real estate licenses to work giving myself cancer is that what I'll get what will black mold how quickly will I die if I take this job I need to calculate how quickly will this $15 an hour job kill me? I will be back with those results probably in three or four years. <sighs> My fucking life. Bye guys.